The Vivo X80 Pro is in town and we can definitely say that it's here to stir things up. With a strong and expensive chipset, high quality cameras and two optical zooms similar to the ones on the S22 Ultra, anything could happen in this huge comparison which will also include the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Are we finally going to see a device from China shut down the grates with its camera quality? We're about to find out, so let the facts speak. The X80 Pro has a special feature called the Zeiss Mode in honor of their partnership. With it activated, the photos look quite natural and do not include the stereotypical vibrant and saturated colors that softwares implement to make the photos look more appealing. We took the first photo of the wide and ultra wide cameras as well as the portrait mode with this feature on so that you can see what it looks like. I quite like this option that Vivo gives us and the photos have traits that Sony fans will definitely enjoy. With the mode turned off, the software looks to be working just how social media enthusiasts would want it to with plenty of punchy colors to go around. The white balance is an always perfect as an orange tint is present in some of the photos, but in general, this is top notch stuff from Vivo. On the other hand, Samsung and Google are showing very good results as expected. The S22 Ultra's photos are a bit dark sometimes which takes away some of the details and the Pixel is also guilty of this in a few photos in this specific comparison. Even then, each phone has a few photos that they shine in and definitely perform better than the others, so there will be no winner here as I'm quite happy with the photos from all three devices. I'm really interested to hear what you think about the photos so far, so make sure to write a comment below and I'll make sure to read and reply. While you're at it, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel as we're almost at 100k. So, the first photo of portrait mode on the side of the Vivo is with the Zeiss mode and it looks pristine. I look like I have a lot of makeup on my face thanks to Google's perception of me and honestly, I can't really say that Samsung's actually ahead of Vivo either. It does have the software advantage which brings about better edge detection and that's really important for portrait photography. But besides this, Vivo's photos look nicer than either of them and there's not much to criticize about the edge detection either. I don't know if this is a one-off thing or not, but I feel that I used to like Samsung's portrait mode photos way more in the past. A couple of photos from the Pixel look to be comparable to the Galaxy here, which is usually something that just doesn't occur. The X80 Pro is going to be walking away with the 3 points as the S22 Ultra will come in second, but ever so slightly. I'll be giving it a chance to catch up though, because the zoom feature is insane on this phone. Vivo might have something to say about it though as they've given their newest flagship a 2x as well as a 5x optical zoom which will be very interesting to see because it isn't a common setup on a mobile phone. Vivo's 5x is amazing since the periscope telephoto lens is activated but Google's 10x is kinda better even though it has a lower optical zoom level at 4x. Samsung's 10x is slightly better than Google and 20x will showcase the major differences as the galaxy just breaks away. Check out the people to the right of the statue and see that their faces are almost visible on the S22 Ultra. 60x is the max zoom of the Vivo flagship and 100x is of the S22 Ultra which will take the zoom category. Surprisingly, the Pixel 6 Pro showed better results than the X80 Pro even though it has two optical zooms at its disposal. Google's Super Res zoom software is just too strong and Vivo definitely needs to work on theirs. I'll let them know about my thoughts soon, but let's get through the whole comparison first continuing with video. The galaxy is slightly darker than the other two and I can't lie, the shadows shouldn't be so enhanced that the details become hard to pick out. Google once again seems to be on the right track by leading the line in terms of clarity. Vivo is as it is most of the time, brighter than the other two with some extra sharpness. Yay or nay? You'll have to decide as you'll continue to see this sharpness in the second video. In this one, I'm loving the details of the sand on the left corner, but in my opinion, it's easier to look at and watch the footage on the right corner. Regardless of the differences in white balance, Google looks to have the footage that is the easiest on the eyes. Ultra wide is not too different with some noise towards the top of the footage on all of the devices, but with all of them having similar quality with some varying characteristics, and while the 8K video of the Galaxy is definitely an advantage because you never know when you just might need a feature like this, it won't change the result as the Pixel has outperformed even its own expectations in this comparison. This is why they'll be taking the gold medal for video, while the X80 Pro will be tied with the Galaxy for second place. You can take all of these videos with the front camera as well as it's gotten quite popular among Instagram and TikTok users. Usually, Samsung's front camera photos are on point as they have an inbuilt autofocus which makes their selfies look like photos taken with the main camera. Unfortunately, we didn't see the same consistent result this time. Google looks to be right up there, whereas Vivo struggles with the focus in the light if the subject is far away way, but produces good quality shots if the subject is close. It can also shoot at 1080p, while the other two shoot at 4K. Google has produced the more consistent results in this one and Samsung will take second place with Vivo coming in right after, as stabilization is up next. 
With very little movement, you can see that the S22 Ultra constantly jittering, which doesn't leave a good impression. It's important to mention that with extra stabilization turned on, you can only record in 1080p, while regular videos can be shot in 4K. The Pixel 6 Pro continues to dominate stabilization, and as a side note, I'm really curious if any new phone will be able to beat this level of stability. Chalk up another 3 points for Google, and 2 each for the other 2 as Samsung Super Stable will give it the advantage over Vivo's Ultra Stabilization while running, but Vivo will take one back with more stable footage in 4K with active stabilization turned off while walking. Macro is going to be straightforward as it gets, with us using the 4x optical zoom of the Pixel to get up close since it unfortunately doesn't have this mode. I'm expecting Google to hopefully put this feature in the Pixel 7. Samsung has an insane macro mode pretty much on par with iPhone standards. What we're going to be looking at here is to see the performance of Vivo, and it's just not too good. We saw the same issues we had with Huawei phones, as well as Oppo and iQ, in which they have a macro mode but the software isn't properly optimized so it takes a lot of fiddling around which doesn't give us good results. Samsung easily takes this and the other two will tie for second place as both of them are average at best. 240fps at 1080p is on your screen ladies and gentlemen, as I pretend to be a footballer like in my youth even though my whole body hurts when I try to run. Quality wise not a big difference and we'll have to look at the 960fps 720p of Samsung, 480fps 720p of Vivo and keep the 240fps 1080p of Google. I'm gonna be giving the gold medal to the X80 Pro here for being able to balance FPS and quality. The Galaxy's footage is just too pixelated since their software converts 480 to 960 and I just hope they don't make the same mistake in their next phone and for now it will take the two points by being tied with the Pixel which has lower frame rates but excellent quality. Yo 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 it's the audio quality test time boys over here is the veteran the Google Pixel 6 Pro and here we just got this in our office so we want to test it out it's the Vivo x80 pro and over here is another veteran of the scene the samsung galaxy s22 ultra sadly the audio quality of vivo isn't good enough to match up to either of its competitors as google comes out on top edging it over samsung with that crisp audio so let's take a look at the autofocus reaction time and accuracy i think it's been a long time while this category was a tie across all fronts but there are super minor differences in timing as all three devices are doing a really good job of catching the subject coming into the frame which means three points will be given to each of the phones and rounding up the results will be the night category. Everyone knows about the hype surrounding the S22 Ultra's performance at night, which in my opinion is kind of exaggerated. Google does really well at night though, and along with Oppo and OnePlus, have given us some of the best night photos we've seen so far. But out of nowhere, Vivo just blew both Google and Samsung away. Even though the white balance is sometimes slightly off, which gives some photos a warm feeling, the focus on the subject, which just happens to be me, is actually perfect. Not to mention, the software is able to shine more light on my face, and this results in the details being more visible. Oh, and this photo was taken under a bridge which was so dark you couldn't see where you were going. The devices took around 7 seconds to take this picture, and unsurprisingly, Vivo pulled off the best result here as well, as its sensor managed to pull in the most light. Ultra wide photos pretty much follow the same trend, as Vivo is definitely warmer, but the focus and sharpness advantage is still there. Sad to say, they didn't perform the same in the videos, as Google and Samsung look to be pretty similar this time around. Still, it's not as a big of a difference as we saw in the photo category, where Vivo showed us a really good time. This is why the X80 Pro will be the winner of the night category, with Google and Samsung taking second place together. And we've come to the conclusion that you all have been waiting for. I'll just go ahead and say it, regardless of the result, Vivo has impressed me as a company with their newest flagship. What was the most surprising thing was how the phone performed while taking photos at night with crystal clear images. Impressive stuff being able to hang in there against the likes of the Galaxy and the Pixel. Speaking of the Pixel, it will be the winner of this competition with 27 points. The Galaxy is just one point short at 26, while the X80 Pro will also be close by with 24 points. The results could have gone in any direction, which made this a really fun comparison. Like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can get the first scoop on all of our new videos. Thanks a lot guys, and I'll see you around.